banquet hall will come to order. We are now holding a banquet for the 2020-2021 Granville FFA chapter. Mr. Vice President, are all officers at their stations? I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they are at their stations, and report back to you, Madam President. The Sentinel. Stationed by the door. Your duty is there. Through this door pass many friends of the FFA. It is my duty to see that the door is open to our friends at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the president in maintaining order. The reporter. Stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to the Virgin Islands and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurer. Stationed at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there. I keep a record of receipts and disbursements just as Washington kept his farm accounts, carefully and accurately. I encourage thrift among the members and strive to build up our financial standing through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The secretary. Stationed by the ear of corn. Your duties there. I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. The second vice president. Stationed by the vice president. Your duties there. My duties are to assist the vice president at all times and assist in directing the work of our organization. I am to, to assume the duties of the vice president in the absence of our president. And I also assist in supervising committee work and chapter activities. The advisor. Here by the owl. Why stationed by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being older than the rest of you, I am asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my no advice will always be based on true knowledge and ripened with wisdom. Mr. Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is the symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over meetings in the absence of our president, whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is a token of a new era in agriculture. If we follow the leadership of our president, we should be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Madam President, all officers are at their stations. Thank you. Mr. Vice President, the Secretary will call the roll of members. There are numerous members and guests watching from home, Madam President. Thank you. FFA members, why are we here? To practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA membership possess. May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare this banquet for the 2020-2021 Granville FFA duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented. And now for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rattling the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave and now it is my pleasure to welcome our principal mrs mead for a welcoming address Hi, everybody. Whew. 
with God through this year. It has been an incredible year. Some of it really hard and some of it full of surprises, like what the FFA was able to pull off during a pandemic year. You guys are nonstop. You see a barrier, you push through it, you go around it, you go under it, you go over it, you just don't stop. You've done great work this year. I'm so proud of the group of students and the advisors that make up the FFA. Uh, you, you just inspire me to keep doing uh, the right thing at all times and with a smile. Because that's what I see every time I'm involved in anything you do, just a positive energy. So welcome to our students, our advisors, our parents, our Ag Advisory Board, our FFA alumni, and all the supporters of the Granville FFA. We're glad you're here. Have a great bank banquet and keep up the great work. Besides the officers and advisors, there are many people behind the scenes that give an FFA chapter the tools they need to be successful and grow. We have several groups that fall into this category that we would like to thank today. We want to thank the Board of Education for their continued support throughout this year and years past. Without your continued support, our members would not get to experience the extensive opportunities our organization has to offer. Thank you to Audrey Hicks, Daniel Nelson, Patricia Ackman, Molly Cellini, Shirley Cunin, Michelle O'Brien, Susan Perry, John P. Troy, and Ed Velatica. There's no way we would be able to accomplish as much as we have within this organization without the support of our wonderful administration members. We thank you all for your continued kindness and commitment to our FFA chapter. Thank you to Mrs. Mead, Mr. Poucher, and Mr. McGurl. We may not have needed help with setting up events this year because of this crazy year, but they still had a big role in our chapter. The custodians have done many tasks like watering the flowers, feeding the fish on long weekends, and other small but important tasks. Also, they have had to do much more added work like cleaning and sanitizing so that we have our meetings in person. With this new building project occurring, recently they have played a huge role in helping move and clean out this year's classroom. As we get ready for renovations and their help and hard work is highly appreciated. On that note, we would like to thank our custodial and maintenance staff for their help this year. We appreciate all community members, especially our advisory board that have supported us both in the classroom and in FFA. Particularly considering how unique this year has been, you help us not only making connections, but also with your unconditional support. Thank you to Terry Wheeler, Brittany Perry, Tara Cook, Tim and Sally Aldis, Sean Wilson, Diane Quick, Stephanie and Rick Bro. Our FFA chapter cannot thank our wonderful group of alumni and supporters enough. From fundraising to events, this devoted group of individuals does everything that they can to help our chapters succeed and flourish. Throughout the year, the alumni and supporters work to help build the opportunities that our members have access to, whether that is financially or through holding events where they can shine as leaders. We appreciate the time that you put into meeting monthly and the dedication that you have to the members of our chapter. Next, we will hear from the alumni and supporters to hear what they have been up to. As alumni, we want to see our FFA members succeed in every way possible. We've seen so many young people find their place and their passion from being involved within FFA events and competitions. We even got to witness members blossom into leaders right before our eyes. That is inspiring and it's definitely something worth supporting. One of the most important ways the Granville FFA alumni supports our members is through fundraising. Typically, in a normal year, a lot of the fundraising offsets students' costs to attend numerous conventions and conferences. However, due to COVID-19, murder hornets, and high gas prices, the chapter has been restricted on what they are allowed to do. This year, the alumni has had to take a step back and go behind the scenes. But don't worry, we still did a little. For example, we held two beneficial fundraisers, one being Little Caesars and the Paparazzi Jewelry. We've paid for chapter fees and dues, along with providing the chapter with event supplies. This year, due to the lack of travel and events, the Granville FFA alumni and supporters was able to support other community organizations who were in need of assistance. As the world starts to return to its normal self, we are eager to jump back in full swing to make up for the memories that were missed out on this year. 
The FFA Creed was written by E.M. Tiffany and adopted at the 3rd National FFA Convention. It was revised at the 38th and 63rd Conventions. It is recited by new members to reflect their growing belief in agriculture and agricultural education. We will now hear from Kira Rice as she recites the FFA Creed. I'm Kira Rice and today I will be reciting the FFA Creed by E.M. Tiffany. I believe in the future of agriculture with a faith born not of words but of deeds, achievements won by the present and past generations of agriculturists, and the promise of better days through better ways even as the better things we now enjoy have come to us from the for struggles of former years. I believe to live and to work on a good farm or to be engaged in other agricultural pursuits is pleasant as well as challenging for I know the joys and discomforts of agricultural life and hold an inborn fondness those associations which, even in the hours of discouragement, I cannot deny. I believe in leadership from ourselves and respect from others. I believe in my own ability to work efficiently and think clearly. With such knowledge and skill as I can secure, and in the ability of ag progressive agriculturists to serve our own and the public interest in producing and marketing the product of our toil, I believe in less dependence on begging and more power in bargaining, in a life abundant and enough honest wealth to help make it so for others as well as myself, in less need of charity and more of when needed, in being happy myself and playing square for those whose happiness depends upon me. I believe that American agriculture can and will hold true to the best traditions of our national life and that I can exert an influence in my home and community, which will stand solid for my part in that inspiring task. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that you will always carry the spirit of the creed in your hearts and the words in your memories. Madam President, I have the applications for 35 students enrolled in agricultural education who are candidates for the Discovery FFA degree. Our Constitution outlines minimum qualifications for this degree. We shall now determine if these candidates qualify. Madam Advisor, have all candidates paid full FFA dues at local, state, and national levels? They have. Vivian, please read the names of the successful candidates. <clears throat> Savannah Ball, Brandon Beaver, Charlie Blissett, Kylie Campbell, Parker Cornwall, Caden Covino, Olivia Faxon, Wesley Glinka, Claire Gould, Frank Hadica, Amberlynn Haley, Madison Jameson, Kara Jernak, Gwyneth Lutz, Kiara McDougall, Madison Mallory, Addison Man Warren, Cole Madison, Elliot Morin, Ella Olson, Aiden Perry, Nevaeh Rose, Matt Rugrock, Hampton Sears, Ryan Shaw, Cohen Sheldrick, Topanga Smith, Brett Stewart, Ethlyn Studley, Isaac Strout, Paige Taylor, Finley Vanderminden, Finley Vanderminden, Hayden Williams, Preston Witherby. Candidates, you are about to receive the Discovery FFA degree in a national organization of members who will become the leaders in the broad industry of agriculture. We hope you strive to continue development of your personal and professional skills through participation in the FFA. I am proud to add these names to the list of our membership, embarking on a journey of personal growth and premier leadership development, which will lead them to career success in the broad field of agriculture. Madam President, I have the applications for 34 students enrolled in agricultural education who are candidates for the Greenhand FFA degree. Our Constitution outlines minimum qualifications for this degree. We have determined that all candidates have met these requirements. The Secretary will please read the names of the successful candidates. Casey Baker, Melissa Beaver, Sierra Bramer, Melanie Bourne, Eli Douglas, Callie Duell, Kevin DeFore, Kyle Dufresne, 
Chris Faxon, Courtney Ennis, Ava Farron, Amber Gibbs, Mara Haskins, Savannah Ilsley, Caden McIntyre, Valerie Manning, Emily Monroe, Jenna Newman, Lincoln O'Rourke, Andrew Rathbun, Kara Rice, Wright and Rich, Ali Rock, Skylar Shinsky, Trey Senevi, Nick Southworth, Hannah Splitgerber, Corona Steves, Isaiah Stevens, Desi Sumner, Deanna Walker, Natalie Walker, Brianne Whedon, Anna Mae Wilson. Candidates, you are about to receive the Greenhand FFA degree in a national organization of members who expect to enter a career in the industry of agriculture. We hope you strive to further develop your abilities through active participation in the FFA. Career development is a lifelong process. Your activities in this organization will help you acquire the ability to cooperate with others for the benefit of all. A good attitude and a respect for the rights of others are essential for success in life. The vast agricultural complex forms the foundation of our American economy. You have chosen well by your expression of interest in a future career in this, our nation's largest field of endeavor. By your enrollment in agricultural education, you have taken an important step towards becoming a useful citizen in our democracy. The FFA is a national organization of young men and women preparing for careers in agriculture. I am proud to add your name to the role of the Granville FFA chapter, New York Association, and the national organization. Your future is before you. Through hard work and wise decisions, you can attain the highest place in our organization so eagerly sought by all worthy members. The FFA organization practices agricultural leadership, citizenship, and cooperation. If you develop your abilities, you may become a leader in this organization. We need you and the country needs strong leadership. We now welcome you as Greenhands. It is our privilege to announce that nine members are candidates for the FFA chapter degree. Nate Aldis, Seth Chapin, Jeff Davies, Sawyer Foster, Carrie Jennings, Sydney Liebig, Colin Norton, Brent Perry, and Tim Southworth. Our Constitution sets up minimum qualifications which must be met before members advance to a higher degree. All of these candidates have met or exceeded these standards. Fellowship and brotherhood are desirable aspects of a full and satisfying life. Your many friends in the FFA share with you the satisfaction of your achievement. May you continue to advance in the FFA. You have earned the highest FFA degree a chapter can bestow upon its members. It is our pleasure to inscribe your names in our permanent records. May you continue your individual growth and develop in our organization. It is always a pleasure to receive honorary members into the FFA. The purpose of this ceremony is to recognize from time to time the efforts of others made on our behalf. Farmers, school superintendents, principals, members of boards of education, chapter advisors, teachers, staff members in agricultural education, business people, and others who are helping to advance agricultural education and the FFA and who have rendered outstanding service. Mr. Student Advisor, will you introduce those who are to receive this honor? Madam President, members and guests, I am pleased to read the following names, Mrs. Wendy Rathbun and Mrs. Amy Nelson. We welcome you as a friend of the FFA. It is my privilege as Sentinel to extend to each of the symbolic hand clasp of friendship and brotherhood. The FFA needs counsel and guidance from recognized leaders. On behalf of every member, I wish to say we are proud to have you as honorary members. May this affiliation prove valuable to all. I impress upon you that, that we look to you for counsel and guidance. It is because of the great respect we have for you that you have been elected to honorary membership. May we always cooperate for the benefit of all. Career development events, or CDEs, are a way for students to learn and apply knowledge and skills related to specific careers in a competitive environment. This year, we were lucky enough to have seven active competitive teams. 
First, we would like to send a special shout out to the teams that took the time to explore how to grow their interests into usable knowledge and skills for their futures. The first team is the aquaculture team. They spent weeks learning how to manage different fish species based on nutrition, water quality, and aquaculture systems. Members of the aquaculture team include Jeff Davies as team captain, Nick Southwark, Ethan Studley, and Kevin Dufour. The floriculture team has worked not only to identify flowers and tools, but also to learn how to arrange flowers. They've learned various aspects of color theory and composition to assist them in their arrangements. Members of the floriculture team include Sydney Liebig, team captain, Lily Strout, Kevin DeFore, and Vivian Green. We are happy to announce that Kevin placed seventh at state convention. Members of the equine judging team have saddled up to the opportunity to learn appropriate care and husbandry for the equine species. Team members include Carrie Jennings as team captain, Rachel Loomis, Bree Whedon, and Savannah Ilsley. This past fall, Caden McIntyre participated in the Wildlife ID Contest, where she put her knowledge of New York State's mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians to the test. Congratulations to Caden for her eighth place finish in the state competition. The next CDE we will feature is dairy judging. Members of this team have learned to identify characteristics of dairy cattle breeds, as well as evaluate the quality of a dairy cow based on confirmation and production. Members of the dairy judging team include Brent Perry, team captain, Ella Olson, Matthew Rugrock, and Kevin Dufour. The food science team is comprised of individuals who see the science and marketing behind what's going into their bodies. These team members study everything from the preparation of food to the chemical reactions. Team members are Savannah Lotz, team captain, Caden McIntyre, Mara Haskins, and Melanie Bourne. Congratulations to Kaden for her sixth place finish at the New York State FFA convention. The vet science team is a team made up of some really intense animal lovers. From anatomy to zoonotic diseases, these hardworking young ladies have proved to themselves and New York State that they are true leaders. Congratulations on placing third in the New York State convention for veterinary sciences. The team consists of Captain Carrie Jennings, Aaron Flood, Ella Olson, and Mara Haskins. And not only did the team place third, but with individual scores, Carrie came in 10th in the state and Aaron came in third out of over 100 members competing against them. We are so proud of all of your students who have spent their free time learning and practicing for these career development events. Now we will recognize those students who competed in our LDE events this year. LDEs, or Leadership Development Events, are events that focus on skills students will need to rise as future leaders of the world. Please join us in congratulating the following. In Junior People in Agriculture, Amber Moses, Paige Taylor, and Madeline Wilson. In Senior Extemporaneous Speaking, Sydney Liebig, Vivian Green, Seth Chapin, and Brent Perry. We are so proud of your hard work and dedication in this year's LDE events. We are excited to see where your efforts take you in your future endeavors. Throughout the year, members of our officer team have met with chapter members to implement events and carry out programs within the community. At this time, we will hear from each of our three committee chairs who will give out a summary of the year and recognize a standout member. This year, our chapter had a new challenge like many others, going virtual with the help of our flexible and creative committee members, we are able to hold several chapter events such as virtual game nights, competition expedition, and our big event, Grandma's Got Talent. We are looking forward to getting to plan some of our more traditional events as things return to normal, but are very pleased with the events that we're able to offer our members this year. Standout member, Ella Olson. Philanthropy has done so much this year, even though COVID made it very challenging. We have sent out thinking of you cards as well as bouquets for the nursing homes. I would like to thank Mrs. Kahn and Ms. Goodwin for helping out with everything and making it possible. We couldn't have done it without them as well as the people who helped out with making the cards. Even though it wasn't easy to do things because of COVID, I would say we had a pretty successful year. Our standout member, Isaac Strout. Mm -hmm. 
Throughout the year, the Outreach Committee has done monthly work with both MJT and GES. Activities such as read-alouds, principal activities, and ag lessons have helped us to introduce our younger students to the world of agriculture and give them a program that they are familiar with when coming to the high school. We have had a great year and I'd like to give a special thank you to Mr. Marcone and Mrs. Talmadge for being very encouraging throughout the year and allowing us to have these programs with your students. Senior recognition is a bittersweet time for us advisors. We have had the privilege of watching you grow as leaders and humans over the last couple of years. We hope that FFA has helped you to develop the skills needed to be successful in life but we also know we will truly miss you as you start your journey into life after high school. The following students have been very active in the FFA and our classrooms and will have a void in our hearts next year. Jeff Davies, Belle Cook, Kevin DeFore, Shayla Waddell, Hannah Festa, and Jenny Renaud. May your FFA jackets be a reminder of your time in the Granville FFA and all the years to come. But remember, the front of your jacket says your name, and the back says where you are from, but nowhere does it say where you are going. We are fortunate to have community members who support our students throughout their years in school and beyond. Next, we will hear from two groups who have graciously provided scholarships for our graduating seniors. First, we'll hear from the Granville FFA alumni and supporters. As our send-off for the 2020-2021 school year, we awarded two student scholarships from the Alumni Scholarship Fund. This is the second annual year that these scholarships have been awarded to two Granville FFA seniors. The first scholarship was awarded to a dedicated member who has been a part of this chapter since seventh grade. We would like to acknowledge your time and effort that you have put into this chapter throughout the years. Please help us welcome Isabella Cook. The second scholarship was awarded to a rather new member who developed a love for the program his last few years. We are so grateful that you joined us and blossomed out of your shell. Please help us welcome Kevin Dufour. Congratulations to all of the Granville FFA seniors. We can't wait to see what the future holds for you. New members are always welcome and don't forget to like us on Facebook. And now I have the pleasure of introducing Seth Brown. Hi everybody, Seth Bro here, graduate and FFA alum from 2017. Wanted to take a second to congratulate everybody on a successful year and for getting through a year of COVID. Hopefully next school year will be a little more normal and our graduating seniors will have a normal freshman year of college. Every year my family gives out a scholarship and award to an FFA and ag student who shows a true dedication and passion for the industry and for the activities they've done in FFA while they've been in high school. This year, I'm very excited to give the award and scholarship to Hannah Festa. I wish you the best of luck at ESF, and thank you for your dedication and the hard work you've done for FFA and ag education here in Granville. Everybody keep up the good work, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of your summer. Hi, everyone. My name is Jenny Renaud, if you don't already know me. Um, I'm here to introduce Jeff Davies. Um, I've had the pleasure of knowing Jeff for a couple of years now, since like seventh grade, and we are now seniors, um, hence why I'm making this video. Jeff is such a kind-hearted person. There has definitely been some ups and some downs uh, throughout the years, but everybody has those. It's nothing out of the ordinary. Um, but he, like I said, he's very, very intelligent. Um, he is a very kind-hearted person, opens his heart to everyone. Um, he won't really talk much when you first meet him. He's a little shy, but once you warm up, you're okay. Um, Jeff has always been pretty involved in FFA. Um, him and I both have that in common. Uh, he, was a ta he is an, an officer right now. Um, I had never run for officer. Um, I had just gotten into ag when Mrs. Khan got into the school. Um, but I just, I've always been such an unorganized person. So I've never thought about being like, or having such a big role, um, but it's perfect for Jeff. He's so organized. He's on top of everything. Uh, he's just, he, his position that he holds is a great position, position for him. 
Um, he is always, always, always there when you need him. He is such a reliable person when it comes to anything. He has the most love for animals. Um, <laughs> he's a little bit of a baby sometimes, just, just a tad bit. Um, and you'll never, never, almost never see him in anything else but black. Um, his favorite hat is his black beanie. He's always wearing it. Um, he's always having a black t-shirt on or a black sweatshirt, even if it's 90 degrees outside. He will sweat in a black t-shirt and a uh, black t-shirt or sweatshirt and his black um, sweatpants. You will never see him in anything else. I was surprised when I saw him in a burgundy shirt the other day, and that's a, that's a lot of color for Jeff. Um, he's I've never had a problem with him. He's always been such a great friend to everyone around him. He's never been mean to anyone. He's just been such a nice kid, and I've had the opportunity of growing up with him. Um, but yeah, that's all. We're all gonna miss Jeff. I mean, not me. I'm graduating with him. But I mean, yeah, I'll miss him. Hi, I'm Jeff Davies, and I was the 2020-2021 Granville FFA student advisor. In the two years that I've been in FFA, my life has been completely different. Being in this organization has made me a better person and someone I had wanted to be for a long time but didn't know how to get to that point. I have gained leadership skills, speaking skills, writing skills, and even life skills. But most importantly, I gained a family. This organization isn't just cows and barns and corn. It's one big happy family, and I will never forget it. Whether it's Mrs. Khan and Brant arguing over the small stuff or all of us working together to create the best virtual talent show there has ever been, I may have missed out on some opportunities due to COVID, but that doesn't mean my experience was dampened at all over the last two years. Even though I will not be here to witness what will happen next year, I believe that everything will be amazing because I believe in all the members and officers of the FFA, not to mention the outstanding advisors. This is my final goodbye. Thank you everyone for the amazing experience. We would like to give a big thank you to all the members of the nomination committee that helped to decide which officers would be best fit and most beneficial to not only our officer team, but our chapter as a whole. Thank you to Mrs. Mead, Ms. Felsito, Mrs. Quick, Jeff Davies, and Jenny Renaud. Terry, as president-elect, you have been selected by your fellow members to be the leader of our chapter for the coming year. You are therefore responsible for guiding our chapter in all its worthy undertakings. May you work intelligently and seriously to fulfill the responsibilities of your office. Thank you. Seth Chapin, as Vice President-elect, your record of accomplishment indicates you have those qualities of leadership which we should all possess. You are to assist the President in directing the work of our chapter, preside over meetings in her absence, and keep all committees working effectively. Thank you. Corona Steeds, as Secretary-Elect, you have been chosen to keep accurate minutes of our meetings and carry on the Granville Chapter correspondence. You should provide the Granville Chapter with the order of business and committee assignments for each meeting. You will also keep a list of members, a record of degrees awarded, and have custody of the Constitution and bylaws. Thank you. Savannah Illsley, as treasurer-elect, you have been placed in a position of trust. Your duties require you to keep an accurate record of receipts and disbursements and to provide regular financial reports. It is also your responsibility to assist in developing the chapter's budget and maintaining sound financial practices. Thank you. <laughs> Amanda Dickinson, as reporter-elect, your duty is to inform the public about the FFA. You are expected to work closely with the news media, including state and national FFA publications. You should keep a record of photographs and articles published concerning the FFA and its members and be responsible for compiling our FFA history. Thank you. Vivian Green, as Sentinel-elect, your duties include welcoming friends, caring for the meeting room and FFA equipment, and providing for the comfort of our members and guests. It also 
your duty to assist in conducting meetings and ceremonies. Thank you. Brent Perry, as student advisor-elect, you have been chosen to help foster relationships with students in the chapter. It is your responsibility to assist the advisors and chapter in promoting FFA in the school and community. Thank you. It is an honor to be an officer in the FFA. From time to time during the year, you may encounter difficult problems, but through co cooperation, hard work, and dedication, you will succeed, and the FFA will prosper. Do each of you accept the responsibilities of your office, and will you do your best to uphold the ideals and principles of the FFA? If so, answer, we do. We do. I now declare each of you properly and duly installed in the respective office to which you were elected. May your year of service be marked by integrity, dedication, and cooperative, cooperative spirit. Seek harmony among your fellow officers and set high standards of leadership for all chapter members. I decided to pull sort of a Charlotte's Web moment and ask members of our officer team to come up with words to describe our advisors. Here's what they came up with. Interesting and devoted. Undescribable and diligent. Enthusiastic and relentless. Ambitious and adventurous. Spontaneous and creative. Reliable and unforgettable. It takes a lot and a special person to be an FFA advisor. They give up a lot of their free time and family time to help us be successful. As officers, we often see them more than our family. How do you come up with the words to thank them, to show your respect or appreciation? Often, I find it difficult. This year, the officers put together a board with all different pictures of the team, and in the center were envelopes with letters. The one common thread between many of them was a thank you for the effort they put towards us and our organization. This was a tough year. FFA is a hard thing to do virtually. It would be very easy for them to throw in the towel, but they didn't, persevering. All of us at one point weren't sure how we would make it through and they showed us the way, supportive. They often had to think big and out of the box in order to carry out events, meetings, and teams, creative. For the past two years, they have stayed and built the programs offered for our students, dependable. It is very rare to find a teacher that affects your life so positively. We hit the jackpot and got to. You took us all under your wing, and I think I speak for everyone when I say we are extremely grateful, and the only word I can use to describe that is family. Mrs. Khan and Mrs. Goodwin, thank you for all the effort you put into our program, and to us, we love you. Thank you guys, that was so sweet. We've been incredibly privileged to be part of the Granville FFA for the past two years. We have seen our students, our support, and even our classrooms grow. Growth is a major theme of what we discuss in FFA, from personal growth to career growth to growth as a leader. And that is why we could not be more proud of what the FFA is doing here at Granville. To our students, we enjoy every moment spent with you and look forward to the years to come. To our administrators, we thank you for your continued support and interest in the goings on in our unique world. To our parents and community, we thank you for supporting our students and welcoming us as part of the community. And lastly, to this year's officer team, we would not have been able to do any of what we have accomplished this year without you. You've proven yourselves as leaders and dreamers, as hard workers and achievers. We are proud and love each of you. Thank you for what's been a wonderful year. This year, two creative students in the environmental sustainability class have been working to produce a podcast to advocate for environmental sustainability from the Granville perspective. The podcast is available to watch on Granville CSD YouTube page. Be sure to check it out and thank you to our two ambitious seniors, Ryan Cunin and Carter O'Leary for taking on this awesome project. One of the great things about FFA is that there are so many different things that you can do to showcase whatever your talent may be, especially during the New York State Convention. All week long, members were awarded for their talent in their SAEs, public speaking, leadership abilities, and so much more. 
This year, two of our members, Isaiah Stevens and Carrie Jennings, wanted to showcase their musical talent by singing in the talent contest at the state convention. Carrie placed first in the state and Isaiah came in second. In FFA, something that is very important to us is to speak to others who may not be as familiar with the organization and educate people on agriculture. This year, three of our officers, Sydney Liebeck, Carrie Jennings, and Vivian Green, got to meet with Assemblywoman Linda Rosenthal, Assemblyman Brian Barnwell, and Senator Daniel Steck through a Google Meet. They were incredibly proud and supportive of the work that Upstate New York FFA has been doing and were very excited to get to speak with them. It was a great experience for our officers and we are very thankful for the time put in by our assembly members and senators. This year, our chapter president, Carrie Jennings, decided that she wanted to run for our president of District 3. After filling out an application and then going through interviews, Carrie had to give a final speech to the delegates of District 3 who would vote on who they wanted to be their president. After the voting, we were very excited to find out that Carrie will be serving as the District 3 president for the 2021-2022 year. Ironically, a virtual year does not present the most pictures, but our historian Vivian Greed did a fantastic job getting what we could. Here is our year in review.
that farmer like his grandpa before him working hard for his family up early every morning revving up his own john deere pouring out his own blood and tears this future farmer's got it in his heart and his ffa blue jackets where it starts he's got brothers and sisters Across this land, wearing them old blue jackets, this country's in their hands. They're gonna work the air, put the food on the table, and they're gonna leave the way. I have a secretary, do you have a record of any further business which should now be transacted? I have none, Madam President. Does any member know of any new or unfinished business which should properly come before this meeting? We are about to adjourn the 2021 banquet for the Granville FFA chapter. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Fellow members and guests, please join me in the salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I now declare this meeting adjourned. And cut. I tried to go without the script. No, no, no. All right, sit down. <laughs> Hold on, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I'm trying. I'll do the symbolic. Oh, I didn't even know how to do it. Testing. There we go. Needed help with. Oh my gosh. Cut. <laughs> I didn't know the names. <laughs> Never shine if you don't glow. All right, Chapin. This oh, vice president. This needs to be taller for you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why do you have to be so short? <laughs> Why do you have to be so tall? So short, that thing can be all the way angled down for me. All right, so all. What's the Spanish word for go? Lapid. Dominoes. Dominoes, okay. No, that's not fast. Can, can we all get into two lines of the same way? It's a highway. Can you click the stop button?